We're here at the in the Naver booth, and we're taking a look at a company called Future Main. Now, let's take a look at it really quick. So, basically, what's happening right now is she's using AR to uh, go through. That's basically training employees through the plant here, and we can't see it unless we look at the screen right here. I just got done trying to play with this, and yeah. Matt, click on that one. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you can grab it. Touch it with both hands. You can use both hands. You can extend it. Uh, Tony Stark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically, right now, as you can see on the screen, she's actually taking the bearing out of the machine to see the components and kind of play with it. Uh, the reason why this would be useful is because at industrial sites, the machines are always running 24-7, 365 days a year. They never shut them off unless something there's a fire or some kind of catastrophe. Yeah, because they lose money. If they exactly. Shut yeah. So by using, however, this AR technology, trainees can uh, basically get familiar with the machines, the components, uh, how are the EXRBM, which is our software, how it diagnoses the machine. They get familiar with it without shutting off the machine. Okay. So as you can see here, we have a, a few, uh, she's just touching the bearing and then we have like on the maintenance history. She's, re she's resizing the bearing. So, yeah. so my, my question is, uh, what type of uh, what type of machinery do you have? Would you guys come in and scan all the equipment? How or do you have yes. it in stock? Yeah. Okay, for the three D models, we do have ones that we already made. So basically, most of the machines, like electric motors or pumps, most mm -hmm. of them they all look the same uh, anywhere you go. So for the ones that we already made, we can just use them again or tweak them to uh, you know make them look a little different. Okay. However, if we've never uh, seen used it uh, made three D model for one before, then we would go to the industrial site, uh, take pictures bring it back to the office, and then uh, we would make the 3D model exactly how it looks like in real life. So with, with this, and we saw a lot of this uh, over here, basically, so you see a lot of instruction on here, uh -huh. which then uh, they put together for a good training experience, working back and forth with the company so they can build a good training model where somebody's got to figure out how to put a square peg in a round hole type right, thing. Right, right, right. So yeah, basically uh, our solution is a predictive maintenance solution. Uh, we use sensors, vibration sensors, to collect vibration uh, data. And by using this vibration data, we can uh, predict whether or not a fault is going to occur or there's some kind of problem with the machine. This AR technology is something that can be used in conjunction with our software. So we have the heads up display. And if you look in the middle, there's a like MOV and you see some numbers. Those are actually the vibration data values okay. that are being collected from the sensors ah. that would be attached to the machine. Okay. So this doesn't attach to any robot that's actually pulling this bearing out or anything like that? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's just purely the AR, the augmented reality. Because basically for our software to be used, you would normally view everything on a computer in a control room. However, if the company wants to be able to view everything on the factory floor, right in front of the machine in real time, then they would use this AR technology through the HoloLens or through a smart tablet. I'm assuming this is all implement, already implemented in some companies in, yes, in yes. Korea? Yes, yes. Okay. So basically we have a lot of... Uh, publicly owned companies like uh, that per, uh, uh, that operate power plants in Korea they're operated by the owned by the Korean government and they uh, like to use these types of uh, machines because number one it's cutting edge technology and because obviously supplying power to the nation is one of the most important things for a uh, certain industrial facility they always have plenty of they they invest as much money as possible in the latest technology to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Where do people go for more information? Oh, uh, so more information they can contact us uh, through our website uh, futuremain.com. They can contact us if they want to get brochures or any more can information. Figure out how they, they can yeah. implement this in their company. Mm -hmm. And you're doing are you doing any work in the United States right now? Or? Uh, currently, no. However, we are currently partnered up with Bosch which is the European uh, industrial uh, engineering company. Mm -hmm. And then also uh, we are working with Saudi Aramco to uh, install our solution at their uh, uh, oil refineries in Saudi Arabia. All right. Okay, well, thank you very much right. for your time. So. Thank you so much. Future Main at uh, futuremain.com. That's, that's pretty cool stuff. Cool AR, we'll, we'll get back to it because she's, it's like she's doing a little dance right here. You can get your, your employees trained, remodeling, or uh, I guess a lot of different things that you can do with this with this AR technology from Future Main. Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine. Think Magazine put in a geek and you got me. We got a lot more videos coming up. So check it all out. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell notification. It might be over there. Uh, so you know when the next videos are coming out. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, geek out. You're at the Korea SME US event here in New York City.